Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jeff. I am Hayfro. This is Hayfro Sells. This is still Monday. I'm filming this late Monday, 10.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm just going to show you a few of the items that have sold tonight throughout the rest of the evening since my last video. I've got four of them. And a local sale is going down tomorrow at noon. I'm going to show you that as well because it's a pretty decent sale um first one let's get off with the best the best one of the evening this was a 30 35 dollar wallet that i probably paid three or four two or three bucks for probably i've never heard of this brand charles jordan j-o-u-r-d-a-n it's actually quite nice if i didn't have a zillion wallets from getting them at Christmas right now, I would keep this. Yeah, that's a solid, that's a solid uh, $35 for that. Definitely be on the lookout for that brand. A couple comics, an Iron Man that sold for seven. In the process of maybe, he might be adding a couple more, but he's kind of, kind of, he wants me to break up a set and he's not really giving me any uh, reason to do it. He's basically kind of offering me the bare minimum. So I, I might not do it. You know, sometimes there's there's work involved when you got to go dig something out, break it up, change the pictures. Sometimes it's just not worth it. You know, especially if, if some, you know, comic buyers, they want things for the cheapest price. I mean, myself included, right? Can't really fault them. But, uh, but yeah, I, I pro it's probably not going to happen, but you never know. Maybe we'll work something out. Predator versus Judge Dredd versus Aliens. Three franchises that I always will pick up, try to put sets together. Uh, this is a very, very high grade particular comic. Uh, this one sold for $14. It's not, there's nothing really special about it, but... I think this is a four issue mini series. If you can get all four first prints, I, I think they go for decent money. Um, and then uh, this is just something that I had in my basement. I don't even know where it came from. It's a um, Zara. Is this boys or girls? I think it's boys. Zara boys. It's basically just a little shirt, brand new with tags. I don't really sell a lot of clothes, to be honest with you. I just hate doing the measurements. Uh, I can't stand it, to be honest with you. But, you know, if I, I didn't pay anything for this. It sold for $15. Um, you know, I kind of just want to get it out. Like, honestly, like, my wife is going away. She's going to be visiting our middle child in Australia next month. She's going to be gone for many, many months. I am going to be in purge mode trying to like clean this place up get getting rid of things that we don't need or we don't use i have big plans i don't know if it's going to happen but we'll see now the the uh the art piece that somebody's coming tomorrow at noon to buy if i don't break it it's a gustav klimt print artwork pick this up at value village fairly i'm covering up a nipple by the way because i don't know if uh youtube is going to appreciate that or not um and i couldn't list it on facebook marketplace because i was like all paranoid that they were gonna i mean facebook marketplace is sometimes almost as bad as the ebay bots with just going through and like deleting things saying they're counterfeit uh, offensive material blah 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 Pick that up at a value village. Uh, I don't exactly remember what I got, but I know that I'm at least five to six times in my money on it. It's practically new. It's it looks exact. It looks brand new. I priced it out at some local department stores to kind of see what they sell it at. I accepted an offer, probably a little lower than what I wanted. I just want to keep things moving. Like it just. It just feels good when you get some local sales and it kind of boosts your day, especially when things are just crawling on eBay, right? 
And I had one thing that I wanted to ask if any of you guys are experiencing. I've never had any issues with revising items except for the last, I don't know, a couple weeks. Maybe this has been going on. I'll go to, so for instance, I had this Disney crossbody rabbit purse that I was adding to an existing listing. So basically there was one uh, and I found it came across another one. So I was going to add it and make it two. So, you know, someone's going to pay the shipping and handling for one. It really wasn't much more to add it, add another one. The shipping and handling wasn't going to really increase. So it makes the listing more appealing. Maybe somebody has two kids. Actually, to be honest with you, it, it was three that I was adding. There was two brand new ones and one that was, uh, didn't have tags, but it was essentially new. You just never know what it is that it's going to get a buyer to buy. Anyhow, I went to add it and it gave me some kind of message like, because this item is in a sale, you can't revise it. So I had to end the listing, sell similar, and then add th the next item. I have, I have been adding things to listings since forever. Like for the last eight, 10 years. Are you guys seeing this? Do, and, and do you know why suddenly, if an item is in a sale, we can no longer edit it? Chime in, let me know, that would be great. It would save me a call from eBay. And yeah, we'll finish this video tomorrow with what sold overnight and I'm doing my shipping tomorrow. So I kinda wanted to get this stuff packaged and uh, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon. I'm only showing this. This is the first sale of the day. This is how pathetic it is. I'm only showing you this because this is pretty adorable. <laughs> Lamb chop enamel pan sold for 18 shipped. <laughs> I had a couple of comics sell last night where he bought one and then he added another and I already packaged those up while I was listening to Josh's live stream this morning totally forgot about the video nothing special about them sold this Outlander season 6 DVD set for 20 I do have multiples of these I picked up very cheap and this button is going to Canada for ten dollars denying women choice is a crime Hey guys, it is now Wednesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Didn't really have enough sales yesterday to even bother completing the video. Still don't really, but I do want to give you a few updates, a few eBay updates. Um, I successfully created a multi-item variation listing with some patches that I picked up. And I don't love it. It is a bit of an inconvenience, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to do my listings that way going forward with different same items, but different variations. I am picking up some more of those keychains from the same woman who seems like she has this endless supply of vintage keychains, which I know sell quite well on eBay, um, when the site's working. I woke up today, didn't have any sales. I didn't send any offers out. I didn't even think about that. I had, I had, you'll see, by now you probably already saw the video where I had like a small little one minute video just showing you a DVD. I forget what else, just a couple little sales yesterday. Like it's pretty pathetic actually. And then late last night, I sold this Hello Kitty comb for $11 plus shipping. I was a little surprised that it went for that for that high, but the guy made me an offer. And um, the the so an update on the local sale with the uh, the Klimt painting. She was supposed to come yesterday morning, and then she was like trying to get me to basically come to her. And I was like, you, you know, you, you love it when a buyer wants to buy something but they don't want to drive to get it. They, they want to, they want you to come to them. And I, and I am not rewarding bad behavior for that. I was like, look, if you want me to come to you, there's going to be a delivery charge. I am not conditioning. I am not going to be part of the conditioning of local buyers. 
you know, just as Amazon has created this legion of buyers who expect yesterday delivery, free delivery, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to be part of that local sale crowd that is like encouraging buyers to expect people to come. Like, if you want it, you got to come to me or you're going to have to pay to have me. You know, I've already accepted an offer. I don't know how you guys handle it, but I am not that hard up for a sale. I know, I know that this weird, weird period of time, it will correct itself one way or the other. Uh, I don't know what's going on with eBay. I don't understand. I feel like it's a couple of things that are kind of like, I feel like it's site issues that are just horrendous i feel like it's it's the time like it's it's just a bad time for the consumer but i also feel that the big root of the problem is promoted listings it just feels like ebay is just trying to squeeze its sellers for more and more money and if you and if you don't give in to the mafia that ebay has become then you then your listings are just not seen they're they 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 be the, the they're not protected right and People will pivot. People will pivot. People will leave. People will cross list, and and it will hurt eBay's bottom line. And I don't know, I don't know what it's going to take. But I have never across the board seen so many disgruntled buyers. So I know it's not me. I mean, I find solace in that, but it doesn't help my sales. Um, you know, for instance, I'm focusing more on local right now because local is what's working. That's me pivoting. Uh, I also am in the process of getting all of my comic and comic pop culture related things uh, cross listed onto uh, Hip Comics, which is another comic website. I really resisted it for a while because I wanted to kind of like segregate for upselling purposes. I wanted to keep, and this is more strategic talk. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I wanted to keep Hip Comics basically all the items that I couldn't list on eBay. So if somebody went on eBay and I could say, hey, you can go to this website, like, you know, through marketing efforts inside the package when they, you can go here and shop, but now it's gonna be a little difficult because I don't want them having to sift through all the stuff that's already also on eBay, but it could, re it could result in getting more sales on hip comics. I don't know what it's going to be like having all my comic database on there, but hey, if the stuff's not selling on eBay, maybe, you know, I got to try. I got to try to, you know, get my, get my stuff in, in front of other eyeballs. You know, hip's not charging us any kind of like promoted, protected, promoted, you know, they're not nickel and diming their seller. So I don't know. I would rather give my money to hip than, e than eBay. But like, for instance, like this is what totally baffles my mind. I've had no offers. I've had no sales since yesterday around 11 p.m. I've got over 8,400 listings. And I have two people who who inquired and, and want to buy, like somebody wants to buy this Jane Austen book for $15 locally. It's, it's not something that we, I bought to resell. It's something that my wife had. She just, I'm in cleaning out mode, um, like fall cleaning out mode, not spring cleaning, but fall. Like I'm trying to create room, create space so I can, you know, maneuver my inventory, get it in, super organized state like my inventory is just chaotic because i spent so many years just listing 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 trying to like and 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 then stuff just stopped selling so stuff just started piling up started piling up like it, it wasn't selling at the rate that it was selling and so i'm you know I, i'm still listing on ebay but my my listing is going to drop way back because it's it's, a, it's just it's not really proving worthwhile to, you know, when eBay's site is broken, it is broken. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling that. I've had some personal dialogues with, with some of the viewers and they're experiencing so much frustration. Um, somebody wants to buy this Nespresso frother thing. It, it doesn't have the cord on it, but there's still value here. It, it's practically, it, it, I think it's brand new. 
If not, it's close to brand new and uh, 25 bucks. So yeah, I mean, just a couple small sales here. Just happy to get them out. Just happy to clear clear, clear some space. Um, I, I wouldn't sell this on eBay because it, it'd be too heavy and it just wouldn't be worth it. Like I figured I'd, and, and I, both of these I've listed within a week. So 8,500 items listed on eBay, no hits, no offers, no sales. I've got maybe 600 items now listed locally and two. Like that makes no sense at all. It makes no sense. The, the only thing that I can think of is that the items are just not being seen because I know that my items sell. So eBay is shooting themselves in the foot right now. And uh, I, I, I firmly believe that until their numbers are reflective of, of bad earnings, then probably just going to continue to see this. All right, somebody's texting me. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to hold this video off and see if anything else sells tonight. Maybe publish this later tonight or tomorrow morning. Like I said, I'm never going to just make content to make content. I need to actually have things to talk about. Uh, oh, one more other thing that I found out today. Somebody told me, and if any of you guys know differently, let me know. But I was told that we could turn, there was something in our account that we could switch off to not require payment immediately from the buyers because it's creating a big hassle for when somebody buys something and then they want to add something and I'm trying to offer them free shipping. It's not giving me the ability to send invoices. Sometimes it does because it's what I've heard is eBay is rolling this feature out a little bit at a time. So there still are some buyers that you do that you are required to send an invoice to. But many of them now are not. And I was told that there was a button or there was something that you could, a setting that you could select or deselect. So basically, they weren't required to pay immediately, which would allow us to send them an invoice, which would allow us to adjust the invoice. I spoke with eBay today. That's not the case. That's not what she told me. So if you guys know anything different, let me know. I get annoyed with eBay rolling out new features and then not actually thinking it all the, all the way through. Like I applaud them for enforcing, I guess they're, they're essentially trying to enforce non-pay buyers. I get that. But there are other ways to do it than, than, than the way they're doing it. Um, they should allow us still to send invoices if, if, if we want. It's, it's, just, it's just typical eBay. Anyhow. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Good luck with your sales, guys. I hope you guys are, are doing well. Hey guys, it is now Friday. Uh, what is it, like two, three o'clock p.m. And it's my daughter's birthday, so I wanted to get this, I wanted to kind of close this video thread that I've been going all week because I just haven't had enough content, in my opinion, to really release a video. I just haven't had a lot of sales. This has been a pretty, pretty brutal week. Thank goodness for some local sales. Uh, I'm going to show you two things. Well, I had two comics that already sold and they already shipped out today. This one, I'm still waiting on payment. Uh, they were all, all of them were low dollar comics, like anywhere from eight to $10. Nothing, I don't think nothing to write home about. And um, I haven't accepted the offer yet, but this iron metal kind of like pagoda thing, uh, I don't even know where this came from, to be honest with you. I came across it just cleaning out uh, the shed. And I know it has some value. And, you know, I sent out an offer. They countered a little bit lower, kind of way, and I'm probably going to accept it. The, uh, the offer was for 75 Considering I have nothing in on it, I kind of wish I would have been more aggressively listing it locally. Because I think I probably could have sold it there. Uh, I only had it listed on one site. I forgot to put it on Marketplace. Uh, so I'm going to take the rest of the day and kind of think about it. I know you're supposed to accept offers when you get them. But I don't really. At this point, honestly, guys, I just don't care about Cassini. I don't care about eBay a whole lot. Um, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty pessimistic. I, I've kind of been taking a couple days off from listing. I'm trying to get back into playing guitar. Uh, I, I have plans to kind of focus on my health a little bit more. 
um, getting back to the gym, getting exercising, taking care of me first. How, I'm just, you know, it's one thing when you're busting your butt and sales are coming in. You kind of justify it that way. But when sales aren't coming in, I'm just, and, and eBay site's not working right. I'm just like, and, and you know, take that with a grain of salt when I say the, web, the website's not working right. Like, I'm convinced that the website has a ton of issues that we're not, we, that there's visibility and search issues with our items not being seen. And I think some of that is site related. I think some of that has to do with international shipping, the way that items are being displayed to people. I think I think the, a large portion of it has to do with promoted listings and the eBay mafia style that has been happening in terms of if you're not paying to get your items promoted, then you're not then your items are ju you're, are just suppressed. You're just not getting you're not getting views. And I know that's a negative outlook to take but I'm not alone in this and I'm not alone in the issues that that everyone is having if it was just me then I would be like oh it is it's my items it's what I'm sourcing blah 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 but I've never seen eBay this bad in 12 years of selling I've never heard and maybe part of that is that I've never been as involved in the kind of like the YouTube community I'm actually relatively new to the YouTube I've only been watching videos for like maybe eight months now, six, eight months. My my channel is like, what, three, four months old? I don't even know now. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong or, or maybe, you know, people have always been this negative. Maybe it just seems to me what I'm seeing is that so many people are just leaving eBay. They're just done. They're closing up their store. Long-term sellers. Uh, if I was, if I was Mercari or Poshmark, now would be the time to really try to capitalize on eBay's follies and eBay's, you know, mistakes and try to capture some of that market share. Um, I, I spoke with Hip Comics. I'm, I'm connecting my store so it, it imports all my comic-related items into there. Hopefully that's done over the weekend because I know they're running a big sale over there. And, um, yeah, like I mentioned in the previous video, I think, you know, I'm still picking up stuff to sell on eBay. I picked up another bag of these, these little keychains, which I know sell really well. Um, like, I'm sure this one's going to sell super for a premium just because it's so cool looking. It's so retro. And, and all of these are from the 70s. I don't know where this lady, ha she just has these in storage somewhere. Man, look at this one. Gremlin. That is super awesome. Um, the I did a little bit more uh, thinking about the variations that I mentioned. Um, a big a big drawback to that is it doesn't seem like you can add best offer on that, which I think is a big problem. Which is going to cause me to rethink whether or not I actually want to use the variation tools or just kind of do the way I was doing it, where you know you stated the the item. You know, if you if I put a put bunch of patches up, item is. For one patch only it's not violating any ebay rules I've, I've spoken to them at length about that and that might be the easiest thing for me because it's easier to list the variation tool is a pain in the butt it's not very user friendly and uh and then the other thing that i found out i think i found out when i was trying to revise an item and it was not letting me i think it's because when i was running my markdown sale I've always deselected the button that eBay generally populates by itself, which is it, which I'll talk about in a second. You have to deselect it to not have it remain in the sale and prevent against any revisions. I don't understand. I'll never, well, I kind of understand. I don't like how eBay selects certain things when we're doing things. For example, have you ever go to create a listing and eBay has selected the bold feature which comes with a dollar or two dollar fee and you have to deselect it. I just, I think that's so shady. It, how many, I don't know how many times I've had to call eBay and be like, look, I didn't, I didn't select this and I got charged for it. Can you remove this? Don't select things. Don't pre-select things for us, eBay. Like it's, it's so shady. Another thing is when you're running a, promotion wait 
No, when, when you're when you're creating a campaign for promoted listings, you can select which categories, like either you can do the entire store or you can individually select categories. And so you might only select half your categories and then leave ha half of your items, assuming it's in this example, it's just half, half split. And then right before you go to click submit campaign or run campaign, there's another button that eBay selects that you have to deselect. And what that button is, it has something to do with like, I can't remember the wording of it. I probably should have, but it, it has to do like eBay will suggest. If you leave it selected, then eBay basically has the free run to whatever they think should be in their promoted campaigns will be in their promoted campaigns. If I'm understanding that correctly, correct me if I'm wrong. And correct me if I'm wrong, if you can have a best option to variations, like it will save me a call into eBay or I'm just not gonna use the variation tool anymore. So yeah, um, oh, one other thing, um, I picked this up. This could have been a huge score yesterday. I don't know a lot about it. It, it looks to be this, this flooring floor heating systems from this company called New Heat. It's brand new, it's never been opened. And it looks like if I do my research correct, if I've done my research correctly, this could be anywhere between five and $800. It's very obscure as to, cause I don't, I don't wanna open it up. Like I'm gonna contact the company and uh, and find out because it has the SKU number. Uh, my wife did. I mean, I think she found the exact product, and it's like six hundred and fifty dollars. So I just need to make sure that this is complete. So this could have been a this could have been a really nice find. Um, uh, I'm gonna try and sell this locally. <laughs> I don't really want to sell this on eBay just because it's so big and bulky. It's it's gonna be so expensive to ship, but I, I might. Uh, so I still am sourcing, but I just, you know, I'm kind of taking a break from eBay, I think, right now. I'm just kind of taking a few days off. I haven't been listening at the volume that I that I have. I just see no point. I just feel like, why put the effort in? Like, if, if their site is just messed up, I think so many times we work and work and work and work, and, and we don't take a break, but... If you're seeing slow sales, this is my this is how I rationalize things. If you're seeing slow sales anyhow, I just don't think, and and you have thousands and thousands of listings like I do. I don't think really busting my butt, you know, over the next I don't know three, four, five, six days a week or so. I don't, just don't see it making that much difference. I'll I'll focus on sending offers. I'll focus on local stuff and, and see what happens. Uh, I think we all need to sometimes take a break from eBay and I just feel like this is a great time. Uh, if anything happens, I'll, you know, I'll be making some content. If not, you know, I just might take the weekend off guys. Uh, and, you know, I hope you guys are having great sales. Um, pretty frustrating, but you know, the last two weeks of August are typically very slow. I think it's just exacerbated because it's really been slow. This has just been a really slow summer in general. Things have felt off really since the mid mid July, since all the impressions and everything really tanked, and it just feels like our items are. That, that, I don't want to say they're necessarily being suppressed. It feels like they are. It just feels like they're not visible. I think we can all agree on that. Is that visibility is a is a huge problem with eBay right now. So anyhow, have a great weekend, guys. If you're still here, please. Feed that YouTube algo. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope your guys' sales. And here's to a good after Labor Day run into the fourth quarter.